Hello everybody! We have just a normal day today. It's kind of busy. I have an Invisalign appointment. I don't think I have anything to update on the Invisalign. I think I actually filmed my last appointment where they put all the dots on the front, which is very, it's a little obnoxious when I have them in, but I'm, I'm so committed to like having straight teeth that I don't even care. I know some people like don't like to smile because they have braces, but what, what you're doing when you are taking a picture is you are taking a picture of that point in time. And my point in time, I have braces and I'm okay with looking like I have clear braces on. I'm not gonna lie, I'm looking forward to not having them on there, the bumps, but <laughs> it is what it is. I think I have three more trays before I'm done with this section. I'm pretty happy with my smile. There's like one tooth right here. It's hard to see it. My teeth look very straight in this shot. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're already in braces, you might as well make those small tweaks to have your smile how you want them. We will see what she says today on how everything is going. We have to do a mini Costco run because there's just a few things we need, not a lot. So hopefully this doesn't turn into a full Costco haul <laughs> because that seems to happen when you go to Costco. Also, we are picking up a fuel tank for pumping our own fuel because um, with gas prices, heating fuel for our houses have has gone up significantly and it's getting a little scary so um i think we're gonna purchase a fuel tank today and hopefully we can get this all done <laughs> we don't have a ton of time we we're gonna go to dw grill again it's addison's favorite place to go now like if i ask her where she wants to go to eat it's always dw grill it's just a fun like really nice place to go in i'm gonna try to eat a salad because trying to like clean it up after anchorage that chocolate cake at Great Glacier Brew House though. <sighs> when I was editing that video, I'll put that video up here. It's, it's a very short one, but that chocolate cake was so amazing. Shark Week, I may have to like have someone freeze it and send it up to me. <laughs> I'll call the restaurant and be like, so do you guys ship your cake? <laughs> I'm the awkward person that would do that and Lance would be like 50 shades of red as, as he's <laughs> listening to the conversation. All right, we're gonna get going. Our first stop, DW Grill. and as always, it was so good. The atmosphere is my favorite thing about that place. I've only met Winna, uh, this is the third time going to DW Grill and she just makes you feel like a family when you're in there and I love that. She's very kind. She gave her a little pack of stickers while we were in there, it's so sweet. Now we're headed to my dentist appointment, which I feel bad, I, for I meant to bring my toothbrush because I knew we were getting lunch and I didn't. I did floss and get at least between the teeth, but um, such a bad person. I know, I know. Um, I'm sorry, Dr. Chang. <laughs> what? How much is it? 
<laughs> Listen. I don't know. How much is a crown? Two thousand dollars? Can you can you go back to where you started to the reason you wanted Invisalign? Like and subscribe. Well, okay. First of all, my teeth back here weren't touching and I was missing a tooth over here. Okay. So my mouth has costed a lot of money. Let me just say, my Invisalign appointment went great. Um, and she kind of let me know, I have four trays left, uh, which I change every 10 days. So I got that implant done. So I have the part for the implant, but the tooth is not there. Well, at the next appointment, we're gonna talk about um, getting a retainer next because I'll be done with my braces. Well, if I get my retainers and I don't have my crown put on my implant, then I'm gonna have to get more retainers. The retainers are about $650. So she's trying to save me some money. Hopefully I can get a crown put on my implant before I actually get my retainers. Um, and she said, if not, we can kind of hold off and she can keep me in the last trays as long as they hold up. That will mean like the dots stay on too. So, I mean, we do have another option. My mouth has cost us a lot more. This, this journey of my, my braces. <laughs> He kids, guys, he's completely joking, okay? I mean, a little bit. It's It's been a lot, because I had the braces put on, and that was a good chunk of change, and then I got the implant, and that was a good chunk of change, and now... Don't be shy, see the numbers. <laughs> Don't be shy. I even got a really good deal, because like, one, we have really good dental insurance, so my braces weren't really that expensive, and, and the implant was, I think $1,700 out of pocket, which is actually really good. No, is it? <laughs> it's better than like 6,000. Sometimes it's like, I think that, well, let's see, what was the total cost? At 6,000, you have a holy mouth, okay? <laughs> that's, that's where I'm at. I just want to be able to chew my food properly, okay? Because this whole side, well, you have I've showed you guys before, let's not get awkward, but I just have a hole. It's like my main molar back there is missing. Here's the right side too. So. You have the right side of your mouth. <laughs> but those weren't even touching. When I got my braces, my back teeth back here weren't even touching. And now they're coming together and finally closing. We're here at sunrise. Hello. Hi. Uh, I'll take a um, 12 ounce white chocolate mocha. Yeah. And you want to make sure you free American? Um. I'm gonna do a 16 ounce iced sugar-free white chocolate Americano okay. with cream. Small uh, blue raspberry Italian soda. Yeah, we only do like 16 for our smalls. If you want, I can like put them in two eight ounce cups. Or, or we'll pay for the full, maybe just like one of the eight ounce. Okay, yeah, of course. Listen, I've had, a, I've had a lot of positive feedback of you being in the vlogs. I have my I mean. wallet tingling. <laughs> Go on. Everyone loves seeing you in the vlog, so you're gonna have to be more than just like a guest appearance, okay? Guest appearance. Mm -hmm. Special guests. Lance Violet. <laughs> one of the guys that Lance works with, they all have like computers. He actually took one of my thumbnails of me and Lance and put it as a desktop, like his picture of his background. <laughs> it was thumbnail to one of my videos. So I jokingly told Lance the other day that like I was posting a video, so let my fans know. <laughs> what? You're such a natural right now. <laughs> well, you're, the one, you're the one playing gin and juice. Listen, <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. No, no, no. You good? Yep. Thank you. <laughs> here at Costco. Like I said, it's just gonna be a tiny little run. Yeah. Hopefully. We'll say tiny. Oh. What'd you say? Nothing. I overheard something. <laughs> also, Lance went to go get the um, fuel tank that we were gonna buy and I guess they're out of them. A lot of people are starting to pump their own heating fuel because um, the cost is so high. So they're out of them, but it sounds like the guy's gonna try to get one for Lance. When we are able to get a tank, I can let you guys know like how much the tank is, how much the pump is, all that, um, to see if it's worth pumping for yourself. It is kind of a little bit of an investment. I think he's gonna leave me in here. <laughs> all right, okay. Let's go to Costco real quick, and then we gotta go pick up the kids. <laughs> Let's go shopping. That was 
wasn't on the list. Well, you know, remember we used to put a kid in the car seat in the car and we'd stack groceries around. Yeah. Uh, he was on a budget. <laughs> like a husband Costco run. So far, <laughs> good for me. <laughs> is that coffee good? It's not coffee. <laughs> what is it? My drink with... Italian soda? Yeah, Italian soda. That's what Lannon gets on his IVIG days. I mean, oh, yeah. Really... Okay, hold on. So in Alaska, like all season, it, that's a, it's a loose statement. Because these are, Technically, it's super winter because like, they can get snow in there. Oh. The, the beam is probably better. But like for the price, and you park in the garage so they can fall out. Mm -hmm. These wipers are $7 a piece. He said you can spend about $20 a wiper. Easy. Easy going other places. Easy, so easy, easy. easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> My van actually needs um, wiper blades right now really bad. So he said these are all season, but they're not really um, like winter proof for seven dollars totally worth it for the summertime what we really came for. Mm -hmm. This is actually what we came for. It is these like covered area things. We don't have any type of shed, so our um, like lawnmower, all our lawn stuff just doesn't have like a good home for it. And our outside area is just pretty crazy. So we're trying to get a little bit more organized around the house because this is kind of a little more permanent home for us. Not permanent, but we're probably gonna spend another year or two where we're at. Um, that was not initially in the plans, but with like house prices, it's been a little bit crazy. So um, I think we're gonna get one of these and just make our home a little bit more um, what we need. to put all their random little toys, their balls, the sleds, their little shovels, anything that they need. I really want to get organized so my my property just doesn't look so cluttered. And this is $135, this is $300, the little canopy that we're getting. Um, it's still cheaper than like building a shed. Well, maybe not building, but we're not, we're, I'm not sure. <laughs> Wood is very expensive. I'm not sure we're capable of building a shed and the kits are like $4,000 to build them. So this is our little compromise. It's $450 and we'll be able to like clean up our property, make it look nicer. The kids have a place to put their bikes. We have a place to put the lawnmower, just all of that. It's, it's the weed whackers, all the random things that you don't realize. Our garage is so cluttered. 
if you guys saw it, I would be highly embarrassed, okay? It's just very cluttered. It doesn't feel organized, and it, it's like my constant battle. Um, I do the whole thing where you throw the boxes in the garage, too. Lance really loves that. <laughs> I know, it, it like comes in your contract as a wife. <laughs> We ended up having to go get the kids from school. Um, it was like the latest I've ever gotten in line to pick them up, but it was such a beautiful day. It's 45 degrees out and it is gorgeous. The kids are playing outside right now without their coats on. It is just warm. The snow is melting. We're supposed to dip back down, down tomorrow. Like it's supposed to be 20 is the high. And you guys, Alaskans are over the cold, okay? I know it's Alaska and I know April can be wishy-washy, but I'm, I'm ready for it to just melt. We saw pictures of last year at this time and almost all the snow was melted. Lance was able to drive his fun car that he had the beginning of last summer. We're just ready to like have summertime um, because the light is, it's so light. I, there's there's still light at nine o'clock at night, like just, just a hint of light, but it's there. And that is so exciting to me. Um, I am gonna tell you the total. I'm not even gonna make you wait. $557 for Costco only because we got the shed thing and then the outdoor toy box thing That was $450 of it. So really it was like a hundred dollars and stuff I am so excited to just kind of get organized around here We also ordered carpet and had somebody come measure for our living room um, It our living room carpet is really bad. It's original carpet from probably 16 years ago or 17 years ago and this was a rental, so the carpet is very bad. It's like a beige color. It is beyond ready to be replaced. We're just trying to make this place be a little more homey and a little personal because we really only plan on being in this duplex for like two-ish years, but with the cost of houses, we'll probably be here for another two years at least. Um, the houses that we need to fit in, like the four bedroom, two or three bath, are running around $500,000. Although this duplex has been wonderful and a huge blessing and we love it, we would love to have our own home and not have to share a wall because we do have a tenant that lives next door and it's a constant worry that we're being too loud. It'd just be nice to have our own little space. All right, anyways, that was really long. All right, I'm gonna sit for a minute because we've been on the go all day and I just wanna just take a minute, recollect myself. Okay, I was actually a terrible vlogger. I meant to pick up the camera again and kind of take you through what we did throughout the night, but we ate dinner. The street tacos at Costco are amazing if you have not tried those. The chicken was really good. It was very garlicky, um, but for $6, totally made the dinner stretch. We ended up tackling our garage, which <laughs> is such a clutter catcher because we just don't have a ton of storage other than the garage. And we're gonna try to get Lance's car in the garage next winter so he doesn't have to plug in. Electricity is so expensive here. Oh my gosh, you guys. We have one electric company here and they basically have everybody on lockdown and they just, I mean, okay, our electric bill, okay, this is not running AC. I understand like down in the States you have like AC um, and you kind of trade off, but our electric bill is about $400 a month for our just our unit and the boiler. That's not including next door. They pay their own electric. And, um, 
that's crazy. So we're gonna get, try to get his car in the garage so we don't have to plug it in because that is probably anywhere from 30 to $60 extra a month. Anyways, we were working on the garage. I was cl cleaning up my kitchen because it's been, it's been crazy. Also, if you wanna see a really funny TikTok of Lance. <laughs> hey Jess. <laughs> I have been posting really funny TikToks of like, they're not really pranks. What do you want? What should I call them? Blasting Lance. <laughs> My TikTok is basically um, just Lance, like Lance, doing things to Lance or like catching Lance. The one I caught him in today, he was like dancing and I put a funny sound over it. It's so funny. I wish it would just go viral because I was like, I was laughing hysterically when I was in Anyways, if you don't follow me on TikTok and Instagram, go follow me here. It's both Violet Vlogs, just Violet Vlogs. I don't post a ton on TikTok, but I'm very active on Instagram, always on there, trying to reply to everybody. Um, so definitely go give me a follow there. All right, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Bye!